Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's insert multiple components within one drawing sheet. So if you see this drawing, you can easily understand that what exactly I am talking about. So this is assembly drawing, it's a cylindrical relief wall assembly. So you can see here the assembly view, these all are individual components and this is the bill of material. So everything within one drawing sheet. So this is the today's topic. So in this video, I will explain the complete procedure to do this. So let's get started. So the same thing I am going to do for stop wall assembly and to do this first thing you need to do is open your assembly or the part if you have, create your section view just like this. Then you go for new drawing, take the bigger seat size. So in this case I have taken the C size. So this is a bigger seat size. Now directly go to general view. Place your view, change the scale, you can add the section view, so your assembly got added, now I will add the individual component and for that first you need to go to the drawing models add model and select the component. So this time I will select the body of the stop wall. Then go for set model and set this body part and set done. Now if you go for general view, you will get the body part. You can create the projection view. And here in the model tree, you have all the feature details related to the body part. So you can shuffle from here also. You can set your model from here also. So if you select the assembly and go for general view, you will get the assembly. But if you go for any individual part, you will get the part detail. Now let us add one more part. Go to add model, this time I am adding this wall part, I will say done and then I will go for general view and I will place the view. I can add the projection view, so this is how we add multiple components within one drawing sheet. Now this technique even works for those parts which is not a part of this assembly. So go for drawing models, add models and this time I will add the center punch which is not a part of this assembly and I will go for general view and I will place the view. For this also I can create the projection view. Now once you place the view, you can easily go through the model tree to add the dimensions or you can recreate all the dimensions using dimension. Now to change the view scale for any individual component, you need to go to that component first. So here I have center punch and the scale is 0 0.008. So if I change this scale, let us make 0.01. So this only changes this particular component scale. So if I need to change this component scale, then first I need to make it the active component, just like this. Now this component is having this scale, I can change it. So this will apply only for this component. Similarly, if you want to change scale for wall, you need to go to the wall. And now this is 0.5. If I make it 0.25, this scale is getting reduced. Now rest of the things are same like creating dimension, axis, sections, everything the way you do in the drawing, you can do here. You just need to go to the annotate, show model annotation, select the last tab, select the view. It will give you the axis. You can even select a different component and it will do the job. 
So this was the complete procedure to add multiple components within one drawing sheet and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.